Today I'd like to talk to you a bit about RV and marine phantom DC power loads. Phantom loads are electrical currents drawing on your battery bank while it's not in use. They might range anywhere from milliamps to several amps depending on the types of electronic devices present. Although phantom loads are present in most RVs and boats, it is important to know that they're there and to formulate a strategy to deal with them so that they don't have a negative impact on your battery bank. The following are just a few examples of phantom loads. Dometic refrigerators are a widely used brand and have DC control panels. Even though these control panels may not have a load, there are sometimes climate control switches that do have a load when they're in the on position. Windguard manufactures TV antennas for the RV industry. Often there is a control switch that allows you to choose between cable input and TV antenna input. So when you're in TV antenna input mode, there's a load present. A 50 watt TV can have as much as a 15 watt draw when hooked to an inverter even when the TV is not on. Inverters and associated hardware all have loads even when they're not in use. Small electronics charging devices plugged into outlets powered by DC batteries uh, create loads even when they're not plugged into electronics. Many appliances have clocks, timers, remote controls that all carry loads. Automatic gas valves, propane detectors, the list goes on. Some of the phantom loads listed here can be wiped out by simply turning your main power switch off. However, phantom loads still remain active when your power switch is off like propane detectors, memory circuits, engine computers, etc. There are ways to handle phantom loads so that they don't cause a problem with your battery bank. One, the RV and boat can remain hooked to a power supply. Two, fully charge your battery bank, then disconnect the negative lead to take the batteries out of the circuit. Keep in mind that the batteries may still have additional devices hooked to them directly, causing the battery bank to draw down. Three, if you choose not to disconnect your batteries and not to remain connected to a power supply, you will need to periodically recharge your batteries to prevent them from being damaged. Four, solar panels can provide enough power to offset phantom loads if the solar panels are large enough. Be careful to avoid relying on low wattage solar panels to finish the charging process before storing as this could take a while and be compromised by less than optimal sunlight conditions. So to prevent phantom loads from causing damage to your battery bank, you should one, try to determine which devices contribute to the load, two, determine the total load draw, and three, develop a strategy to manage the load either by knocking it down, periodically recharging your batteries, or simply remaining connected to power. Hope you found this information helpful. Uh, thanks again for watching the video. If you have any questions pertaining to this material, please don't hesitate to give us a call anytime.